I wish to warmly welcome the... Whether in the Horn of Africa or the Great Lakes, the continent is still afflicted by interconnected instabilities spreading from one territory to its neighbors. That contagion has many vectors. Vectors, economic despair, arms flows, massive population displacements, proxy conflicts triggered by relationships of mistrust and regional rivalries. In our increasingly interconnected world, regional action to prevent or address conflicts is all the more important. Un autre facteur de conflit porte sur les frontières de la plupart des pays africains. Souvent tracés par les puissances coloniales, de manière arbitraire, en fonction de leurs intérêts exclusifs, cette délimitation artificielle a rassemblé des peuples fondamentalement différents et en a divisé d'autres possédant une même identité culturelle. À cela, il faut ajouter la porosité des frontières qui favorise la circulation incontrôlée des armes et qui alimente les rebelles et autres groupes armés. In the Security Council Chamber, Africans across the continent have demonstrated a growing capacity to work together in reducing and preventing conflicts. Of course, there are problems with incons inconsistent and poor implementation, and the African Union needs and has decided to do more and better. And yet, in my mind, there is little doubt that the best initiatives for conflict prevention and post-conflict reconstruction are emerging from Africa itself, and the United Nations would do well to embrace those ideas. We believe that um, the time for Africa to be subjected to a wagging finger, punishing finger from the West is over. We think that it is time for Africa and its partners in the North to really have a serious discussion about international justice. It is beneficial to us as a continent. It is also beneficial to the global system.